Perineum, it is the lower part of the pelvic cavity just below the pelvic diaphragm. It is a diamond shaped space coincident with the pelvic outlet. It is bounded anteriorly by symphysis pubis, posteriorly by the coccyx, on each side anterolaterally ischiopubic ramus, posterolaterally sacrotibialis ligaments. It is like that diamond shaped space divided by imaginary line. Passing between two ischial theobrostis into two triangles, urogenital triangle anteriorly and contains the external genital organs, anal triangle posterior and contains anal canal. This is outlet of the pelvic cavity, and this is the perineum divided by imaginary line here between two ischial theobrostis into urogenital triangle anterior and the anal triangle posterior. The urogenital triangle, it is a triangular space lying between the sides of the pubic arch filled by muscles and the fascia. The fascia covers the inferior surface of urogenital diaphragm forming the perineal membrane. Perineal membrane divides the urogenital triangle into two pouches, superficial perineal pouch below the perineal membrane and deep perineal pouch above the perineal membrane. This is the perineal membrane here, dividing urogenital triangle into superficial pouch below and the deep pouch above the perineal membrane. The muscles of the urogenital triangle consist of superficial and deep groups of muscles. Muscles in the superficial perineal pouch like bulbus spongiosus, esquicavernosus, and transversus perineae muscles. Muscles in the deep perineal pouch like sphincter urethrae muscle and deep transversus perineae. The deep muscles and their fasci forming the urogenital diaphragm. Urogenital diaphragm is covered by fascia on both sides. Now, superficial perineal pouch, it is a space enclosed between perineal membrane and the membranous layer of superficial fascia of the perineum or collis fascia. Boundaries, roof is formed by perineal membrane the floor is formed by membranous layer of the superficial fascia of the perineum. Anteriorly, the superficial perineal pouch is opened and continuous with the space deep to the membranous layer of superficial fascia of the anterior abdominal wall or scarbus fascia. Posteriorly, the roof and the floor of the pouch are fused with each other, so the pouch is closed posteriorly. This is superficial perineal pouch here and the closed posterior and opened anteriorly. The contents of the superficial perineal pouch, root of the penis or clitoris, this consists of two crura and the pulp. The crura of the penis or clitoris, each crust lies close to the side of the pubic arch. It is formed by posterior part of the corpus cavernosum, which is covered by esquicavernosus muscle. Bulb of the penis or clitoris lies in the middle line between the two crura. It is formed by the posterior part of the corpus spongiosum, which is covered by bulbus spongiosus muscle. Urethra and ducts of the two bulb urethral gland, superficial transverse perineal muscles, then vessels and nerves. This is the muscle in the superficial perineal pouch. This is esquicavernosus. And this is bulbus spongiosus, and this is transversus perineae muscles. This is in the male, and this is in the females. The nerves and vessels of superficial perineal pouch, dorsal nerve of the penis or clitoris, passes on the dorsum of the penis or clitoris. Scrotal or labial arteries arise from the internal pedendal artery in the ischiorectal fossa, then enter the superficial perineal pouch. Scrotal or labial nerves arises from the perineal branch of the pudendal nerve and the ischiorectal fossa also then enter the superficial perineal pouch. Artery of the bulb, then terminal branches of the internal pudendal artery, which are deep artery and the dorsal artery of the penis or clitoris. This is the nerves in the superficial perineal pouch. This is here branches from the pudendal nerve.